Guys, today we're taking a look at a game called Summon Age. So this game, in my opinion, is kind of a mashup of games like a little bit of Summoner's War, a little bit of LEGO Legacy. You guys don't know what LEGO Legacy is. Uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is kind of similar to LEGO Legacy, I guess. Uh, and also Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that or are familiar with that uh, as well. So the best way to describe it to you is to actually just show it. It is a top-down kind of I really like this uh this this stage this level it's kind of like this haunted kind of thing uh let's go to this level we already beat this before but let's just go to it again uh it is a top-down battler it's kind of like an idle RPG but also kind of similar to other aspects so we'll see we'll see the actual gameplay so here's the gameplay your characters go through and they basically battle for you we have auto mode we have uh times two speed as well then you could do your little ults Little alt skills. That was his ult. He does a little uh, sword there. Then we have a lightning bolt alt here. And then this one is some vines. Comes in and CCs some units. But they all have multiple skills. They don't just auto battle with one skill. They auto battle with, I, I think they have like their default skills. And they have like six extra skills um, for each unit as well. We could actually do, uh, we could go on auto. Because most of the time you're going to be playing the game. Of course, this is a mobile game. So most of the time you're going to be playing the game on auto. I do actually really dig these, uh, the art style for these different levels, though. Hooray, we beat a level that we already beat before. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna see the end screen for here. So this is an interesting thing that I don't always see in, in these games. Uh, this is what we actually get. If we want to unlock, uh, unlock, we get all of these rewards. So if we unlock all the rewards, we get all of these rewards. If we unlock just half of them, we get for 15 gems, we, we get uh, only half of these extra rewards. So we can do this. We can unlock all the rewards. And that is the rewards that we get. It's kind of expensive. If you want to spend gems, you get multiple, multiple rewards. There are sweeps as well in the game. There's the instant rewards over here. Uh, unlock to get all of these crazy things. Very cost 90. Say, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that. So let's see uh, some extra levels. Let's see some characters. Let's see some other things like that. I am over here. No, I don't want to go over here. Uh, what well, can we sweep somewhere? No, we don't need to sweep. We don't, we don't need to sweep. Let's go to here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to actually be able to do this. This is what, level 2... 8? No, it's not 2 8. Okay, well, let's beat this anyway, whichever level. Hard but possible. We could beat this. We could not beat this. Who even knows? I don't like this level as much as this little swamp le uh, Swampland level as much as the first one. I don't know, man. I think... I, I don't really watch a lot of scary movies, but I like the whole haunted... Uh, the whole haunted atmosphere kind of situation. Let's actually put this on double speed because, of course, we're going to be playing this on double speed anyway and idling and, yeah, and, and sorry, and autoing. Unfortunately, this is just the kind of the situation of how mobile games have gone nowadays. Uh, and then we have all our little characters. Of course, it is a summon game. So we have uh, all our characters that we can summon and then we can upgrade and all these things. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's go to this next level and I'm sure it's going to be even harder. Hard but possible. There's much harder ones. It, it just depends on like if you upgrade your units, then it's good, then it'll actually change. If you don't even put any new units um, and just upgrade the stuff that you have a little bit more, then it's just going to upgrade their power and it's going to... It's going to say, like, oh, you can actually do this. We have actually, uh, I feel like this guy in the front, this warrior guy, is actually, a, you know, just a cut and dry warrior dude. But I feel like this cat, so this cat is like a mage bard thing. Yes, the cat's playing an electric guitar. If you guys haven't uh, seen it too close, let's actually take a look at it. Like uh, I like the character styles, though. I like the character styles, but... Uh, this cat is actually playing an electric guitar. Let's go take a look at some of the heroes that we have. Kitty, I feel like, is a pretty... Seems like a pretty solid support unit. I haven't really see, uh, played the game enough to be like end game to be like, wow, she really scales well at the end of the game as well. Um, but let's take a look at some of the kitty skills. Uh, strikes target, lightning bolt. That's the one we were using before. Uplift uh, inspires the target. So she is like basically a support unit that also is like a support mage kind of thing, right? But she also plays an electric guitar, which is just cats playing electric guitars. Uh, inspires the target, increasing their physical and magic power for t by 25% for 6.4 seconds. This one increases allies' physical and magic defense uh, for 2 seconds. This one heals. You know what? It kind of reminds me a little bit of... Uh, oh, I don't want to say... Not Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, no, it's nothing like Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, Dungeon Hunter Champions, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, right? 
The more the more I think about it, the more it reminds me a little bit of a Dungeon Hunter Champion. Uh, heals allies four meter radius. So she's got uh, buffs, physical magic power. She's got phys uh, defense buffs. And then she also has a heal. And then she also has increased attack speed. And she also has... Um, decreases physical magic defense uh and stuns the enemies like she does every like this is this seems like a crazy support unit she does like literally everything maybe not literally everything but she does a lot of stuff it seems like that's a unit that scales uh if you guys can't or haven't already seen we got these uh star levels we got these zero out of 20 you know what that means that means that this is a shard game <laughs> it's like oh, i'm not playing this shard game people don't really like shard games anymore I don't blame them. I don't blame anyone for not liking shard games. They get expensive, and then they're like, hey, you got the unit. Cool. Now, if you want to actually use the unit in, like, endgame PvP, guess how much you're going to have to keep getting the unit and getting pieces and getting pieces and getting pieces and getting pieces to finally make the unit usable. So, uh, yeah, those can get very frustrating. It can take up to a year or more. Or even, yeah, I mean, a year, more than a year, even spending money to even like spending money and time to actually get all of these units uh hundreds and hundreds of dollars might not even be enough sometimes i'm not saying for this specific game is like that i'm just saying like in general these shard based games have ha have a history of being brutal uh where that's concerned so always people always cautious when these shard based games come out uh some of these uh character styles are pretty cool let's take a look at like this little like what what is this guy he's a little fox like swordsman thing uh Dastin. I like some of these. I like I like all these little wolf dudes. Um this one, which what what is what is what is this outfit? I mean they're not leaving anything to the imagination. They're like, what is the least amount that we can cover her? Let's do that. Let's do, not even just the least amount, but some of these characters are pretty cool looking. I really like the uh, the character design. I really like the art style. I really, I really like um, as far as that's concerned. I mean, art is subjective, but uh, I think the art is uh, pretty cool. And I, I like this kind of art. I like this kind of half cartoony kind of situation. So just want to show some more of these uh, different characters here. It's like a almost looks like a Marvel superhero, Portal Master. What else do we have? This one looks like Maleficent, but she's a spider. Ingrid. So yeah, and everything's got their different, like this guy's uh, like a martial artist, right? A uh, monk. So everyone's got their different Cornelius. All their different skills here. We can see a little bit more of all the different skills over here. Fantastic. Uh, but it seems like it's, it seems pretty cool, but I don't know. You know, I don't know how uh, how well all this stuff is gonna how or how expensive these things are gonna actually get in uh, in Endgame. So let's take a look. Oh, uh, we don't have <laughs> we don't have any summons. A lot of the oh, fantastic. We got a super lovely unit. You know, let's do let's do a ten pull of these uh, doo doo summons. We got nothing. We got nothing here. All right. A lot of times you don't get anything from these summons uh, or these summons as well. The ruby summons uh, twenty five hundred for a ten pull, and you don't necessarily get the stuff that you want to get right you can just get like pieces of things so not not as fun as summoning 10 individual units i mean say what you will about things like uh, epic seven or summoner's war or things like that but like you summon something you get a unit at least it's like it's a full unit and you can use it right so uh that's what i have to say about that as far as upgrading units uh, again, there it's a shard based, right? So there's also these little uh, soul amulets that you can upgrade. There's several different ways to actually upgrade your units. Uh, soul amulets, and then it, this is similar to like Lego Legacy and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and things like that, where you equip all six of these. These are not really unique. Um, they're just like you equip all six of them, and then you upgrade to the next level, and then you equip six. Like then you fuse it basically to the unit, and then uh, you you get it up to the next level. Uh, you can also uh, do the XP booster buffer, uh, and then you have a rune amulet, which is not even unlocked yet. And then you also have these. So these are basically your weapons. Dryad Horde's Dryad. This is Chisun, by the way. This is the Chisun of this game of Summon Age. Well, she's Chisun, and also she does, like, poison, she does, like, CC, she's, like, a CC healer poisoner. So she actually does, uh, quite a decent amount, I feel, for, for this unit. We can take a look at her skills, though. Uh, Fire Blossoms! Right? Uh, then we have this, Effective Blossom, heals allies, we have damage over here, we have vegetation, uh, physical damage every second. 
and then we have some poison here as well, right? So uh, we have those different ways to upgrade the units, and then you can also upgrade the weapons. What else did I want to really mention? Oh, there are... Of course, my god. Well, there, there's buildings. These guys are actually idle farming for you. Like, they're just running around. This is like an island-like uh, an island -like in Summoner's War. Like, you can place your buildings wherever you want, right? Like, this is our laboratory. We can move our building around like this. We can stick it all the way back there. Um, and then they just run around the island killing things. And you actually get achievements from... Uh, <laughs> hooray! You actually get achievements from them running around and killing things. What? What does it want us to do now? I don't know what it wants us to do. Oh, the idle, yeah. So we're just idle, uh, we're just, uh, doing that to actually get idle rewards. Hooray! And then we can check our deployments. Cool. So yeah, what else did I want to, uh, what else did I want to mention? Oh, piggy bank is interesting. I thought this was an interesting, uh, idea. Uh, each energy point you spend is converted to one ruby in the piggy bank. When the piggy bank is at least half full, this, so this is like farming. The more you farm, the more you actually get gems back. Uh, you may buy out its content for a fixed price. An empty piggy bank will start refilling again. So, um, then we have, what else do we have? Oh, uh, money. Let's talk, let's talk about how expensive this game is. Well, I mean, it's not end game, so I don't actually know how expensive it is. Um, there are VIPs. Unfortunately, we don't like shard systems. We don't like VIP systems. It's got both of the shards and VIP systems. Uh, they got some beginner packs and things like that. It doesn't seem overly aggressive. I mean, they have monetization. They have microtransactions. All of these games do. It doesn't seem like overly aggressive, like crazy. Like some of these games, when they come out, they have like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of different packs that you can get. And like, look at all these crazy amounts of packs, like a hundred packs. It's like... Why would you ever need a hundred pa a hundred different packs? You expect, and they expect people to spend money, and they, and like no, some people will spend money on all a hundred packs. Very few, very very few, but uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. So this at least, I mean, it's got microtransactions, yes, but it doesn't seem like it's super crazy aggressive. I haven't seen any pop ups, for or maybe I have, maybe I saw one one pop up for a microtransaction, but not. Like super, uh, super, cr as not as crazy aggressive as some other ones have with like the 10 pop ups. And every time you do any action, it's like a pop up for spend money, pop up for spend money. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. This is Summon Age. Just wanted to give you guys a little, uh, brief little recap into it. It reminds me again, it reminds me of like, let's do another level, but it reminds me of like Summoner's War meets, uh, Lego Legacy slash, uh, what, Dungeon Hunter Champions a little bit. Um, uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and then Mighty Quest for I mean, it's not quite like Mighty Quest for Epic Loot based on like how But it just visually since it's a top-down and like visually looks a little bit like Mighty Quest for Epic Loot But yeah, we got absolutely destroyed. We just need to upgrade our units some more So and then we also it would be nice to actually summon some more units as well because we only have three units But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.